Happy Easter season and happy Sunday before Pentecost. This is the seventh in a series of videos with readings, music, and a message by Reverend Dr. M. William Howard to uplift your spirits during this time. This week, musicians Camille Thurman and Daryl Green have recorded something especially for you. And I'm also including a duet that Brian Kazare and I recorded some years ago. We hope that you enjoy this video and happy Easter season to you all. A reading from Psalm 68. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let them vanish like smoke when the wind drives it away. As the wax melts at the fire, so let the wicked perish in the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name. Rejoice before him. Father of orphans, defender of widows. God in his holy habitation. God gives the solitary a home and brings forth prisoners into freedom. But the rebels shall live in dry places. O God, when you went forth before your people. When you marched through the wilderness. The earth shook and the skies poured down rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai. At the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent a gracious rain, O God, upon your inheritance. You refreshed the land when it was weary. Your people found their home in it. In your goodness, O God, you have made provision for the poor. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. He rides in the heavens, the ancient heavens. He sends forth his voice, his mighty voice. Ascribe power to God. His majesty is over Israel. His strength is in the skies. How wonderful is God in his holy places, the God of Israel, giving strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Ezekiel 36, verses 24 through 28. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors 
and you shall be my people, and I will be your God.
Sisters and brothers, this series of messages, accompanied by the beautiful music and visual art provided by Dr. Courtney Bryan, aims to keep alive the spirit and meaning of Easter. Easter is about new life, about a new clean start. It's not about what is artificial or make-believe. It's about what is real. The lesson that has been read to us from the prophet Ezekiel is so fitting for our time when the world is in crisis and our own national government has so evidently mishandled the COVID-19 pandemic. Dysfunctional leadership, along with the novel coronavirus, has brought right to the surface just how much we do not have a universally shared national identity, character, or purpose. Furthermore, we appear not to share in the same national narrative about who we are and how the country has developed. Depending on where you sit, you have significantly different understandings of the nation's history and its role in the world. While recorded history is indeed told through the lens of those with power and facility for such endeavors, the lived experience of the less powerful nonetheless live on in memory and community and will not be denied in the end. To my mind, the country has worked hard to ignore or even to suppress the voices that help to shine light on the country's transgressions and failings. Truth is, though, alongside the myriad 
laudable achievements and signs of greatness recorded in the annals, there are too many tragedies and failings to ignore, even when weighed against the country's own creed. And these dark chapters are not confined to the distant past, as revisionists claim. We only have to look at the spate of killings of black men and women by vigilantes and public officials alike today that go unpunished. Or let us look at the health disparities, income disparities, and the disproportionate deaths from the virus among Native people, African Americans, and Latinos. Contrary to what some believe, acknowledging the ignoble truth about ourselves is not a sign of weakness. In fact, the opposite is true. Coming to terms with our warts and blemishes is a true sign of strength. Our message last week was about the need to repent, to go down a different path, to abandon racism, extreme materialism, and militarism, what Martin King felt were the nation's idols. Today, Ezekiel is prescribing a bath of sorts, that we be cleansed. He says, I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. That's why I say America needs a bath. A bath that's, that doesn't wash away wrongs from our memory or push them into the dung heap of denial, but instead elevates them to the dignified place of confession, whereby humbling ourselves and declaring to ourselves and to all humanity that we too have often made egregious errors. In so doing, we will test the strength of our nation's character and whether we really are the heirs of a true faith. For if we are, we will allow God to give us a new heart, a new spirit, to remove from our body, as Ezekiel says, the heart of stone and replace it with a heart of flesh. God bless you. Mm -hmm.